Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a period shopping haul from Walmart, Amazon, Rite Aid, and Target. So I picked up a lot of new things that I want to try out for the month of September. Most of these are pads. FYI, in the past I've only used always pads for the last 17 or 18 years. And I've been wanting to test out new products to find options for my very heavy periods due to uterine fibroids. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I picked up are the Honeypot Compact Tampons in the size Super Plus. I actually bought the Supers many months ago and I love them. They're actually one of the very few tampons that work for me in general and the only organic tampon that works for me overall. So I'm really excited to try these. These are supposed to be more absorbent than the Supers. They're supposed to hold 12 to 15 grams of blood and I really have high hopes for these. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. We have Tampax Radiant in the size light. I already tried these. I love them over the Tampax Pearl. And I mentioned that I probably will not buy Pearl again unless it's the Ultra because they don't make Ultra in the Radiant. And yeah, the other box that I picked up for Radiant was regular Super and Super Plus. And I didn't have any light, so I wanted to go ahead and grab a box of those. Even though I do have very heavy periods, it's only for the first maybe three days. And then it tapers off until I spot. So I do need other sizes as well, including lights. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. We have the Stay Free Ultra Thin Overnight Pads. I heard a lot of great things about these pads and I wanted to go ahead and give them a go. And I picked up a small pack just to kind of see how they work out for me. By the way, most of these pads are overnight because I figured if they do not work on one of my heavy days, I can use them for one of my lighter days. So that's why you see a lot of overnight pads here on this table. Moving on, we have Carefree Breathe Ultra Thin Overnight. So a friend recommended these to me and she told me that they were good for daytime for heavy flow, but she wouldn't recommend them for nighttime. So I'm definitely not going to try them for nighttime because they do look like a size three always pad. And that's not a pad that I need to use for nighttime. Um, that's way too small. So I'm going to try those for the daytime and see how they work. Okay. Next up we have you by Kotex security. These are the heavy ultra thin wingless pads. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of wingless pads, but my plan is to wear these as a thicker panty liner on days that I'm not really bleeding heavy enough to wear a pad, but also not light enough to wear a panty liner, if that makes any sense. Then we have the Ubi Kotex Security Maxi Extra Heavy Overnight. These are supposed to be comparable to the Always Size 5 Extra Heavy Overnight Pads. So I really want to love these. Um, the back is 80% larger and they look extremely thick and long. So I do think these might be a great option for nighttime for me. So we're going to see how these work out. Then we have the Ubi Kotex All Nighter. These are the ultra thin, extra heavy overnights. I do not expect these to work for night one and two for sure because I do need a maxi for those two nights, but I do think they might work for three and four and beyond. So in a previous video, I shared with you my thoughts on their tampons. Um, I missed out on the security tampons because they discontinued them and I did not like the click tampons. So I really want to like the Ubi Kotex stuff just so I can say that they offer some good products. All right, so that's the Ubi Kotex stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to the L brand. These are the ultra thin pads and the size extra long overnight. So I was actually trying to find the biggest size on the internet, but I couldn't find them. So I opted for size four, I guess, even though it doesn't go by sizes. Based on all the reviews that I've read, these are not the best pad to use overnight for a very heavy flow, but they're a good pad to use for a heavy flow during the morning time. Next up, we have panty liners. These are the always anti bunch in the size long. I picked up another box because I wanted to use them on days that I'm not on my period, just to keep my underwear clean. And I also picked up the extra long that I didn't have a chance to pick up last time. So they had these on sale and I wanted to go ahead and grab them to stock up. So those are my favorite panty liners. So let's go ahead and move on to the period underwear. So period underwear are getting a lot of traction, especially on TikTok. A lot of people are saying that they were phenomenal for heavy, heavy periods. And they are super popular for postpartum bleeding. So I figured why not give it a go? So I picked up two different brands, the Rayo Cotton Cover Period Underwear and also the Always Period Underwear. I guess that's how you say it. So in the stores that I go to, they always have sizes one through five on the shelves, but they never had the Always Z brand for the period panties nor the size six pad. So I decided to buy both and test them out. So these are the period panties and this one right here is the period size six overnight pad. So this is the widest coverage and the largest pad that they offer. And I am really excited to try this one out to see how it works out for me. I know I'm gonna love it because if it's anything like size five, it's gonna be great. Hopefully this one can simplify my nighttime routine. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the other items that I purchased. Um, I picked up some off-brand items just to test them out. So the first one that I picked up are these extra heavy overnight pads from Amazon. And these are supposed to be comparable to the Always Size 5, as well as these from Rite Aid. And the last one is from Walmart. 
In the next video, I open everything up and share with you my first impressions. And then eventually I will come back on here and do reviews on all the products that I use to share with you what I liked and what I didn't like as much. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down in the comments below if you use any of these products and how you like them. The next video is on the screen. Until next time.